I'm going to sing the Horton Hears a Who rap. On the 15th of May, in the jungle of Luna, in the heat of the day, in the cool of the pool, he was splashing and joining the jungle. Was great joy when Horton the elephant heard a small noise, so Horton stopped splashing. He looked for the sound. That's funny, thought Horton. There's no one around. Then he heard it again, just a very faint yelp. This is some tiny person who will call him for help. Obviously, said Horton, but who are you? Where? He looked and he looked because he could see nothing there. But a small speck of dust blowing past in the air. I say, remember Horton? I've never heard tell of a small speck of dust that is able to yell. So you know what I think? Why I think that there must be someone on top of that small it's speck of dust. Some, some sort of creature of a very small size. He's going to be seen by an elephant's, elephant's eyes. Some, some poor little, little person who's shaking with fear and blowing the, blow the pool. He has no way to steer. All the time to save him because after all, a person's a person, no matter how small, so gently and using the greatest they can. The elephant stretched his great trunk through the air, and he lifted the dust speck and carried it over and placed it down safe on a very soft clover. Hump of the voice was a sour kangaroo, and the young kangaroo in a pouch said, Hump too. Was a freak so small as the head of a pen. A person on that why there never has been. Believe me, said Horton, I tell you, sincerely, my ears are going to be Clearly. I know there's a person down there, but what's more, quite likely there's two even, three even, four. Quite likely a family for all that we know. A family with children is just starting to grow. So please, said Horton, as a favor to me, try not to disturb them, just let them be. I think you're a fool, like this our kangaroo, and the young kangaroo in a pouch said, me too. You're the biggest blank fool in the jungle of Newell, and the kangaroo's punch in the cool of the pool. What a terrible splashing the elephant. I can't let my small persons get drowned. I've got to protect them. I'm bigger than they, so he blocked up the cover. Through the high jungle tree tops, the news quickly spread. He talked to a dust speck. He's out of his head. Just look at him walk with the speck on that flower. And Horton walked worried almost an hour. Should I put the speck down? Horton thought with the law. If I do, the small person may come to great harm. I can't put it down, and I won't have to wrong. A person's a person, no matter how small. But Horton stopped walking. The speck voice was talking. The voice is so faint, he could just barely hear it. Speak up, please, said Horton. What is he hear it? My friend came the voice. You're very fine, friend. You helped all folks on the dust speck of land. You saved all our houses, all our ceilings, and our floors. You saved all our churches and our grocery stores. You, you mean, mean Horton gas the building there too? Oh, oh yes, I the voice and most certainly do. I know called the voice, I'm too small to be seen, see, but I'm the mayor of a town that is friendly and clean. clean. Our, our buildings to you would seem terribly small, but to us who are big, they are wonderfully tall. My town is called Whoville, or I am a who, and the who's are all grateful for you. Horton called back to the mayor of the town, you're safe now, don't worry, I won't let you down. But just as he spoke to the mayor of the speck, three big jungle monkeys slide back from Horton's neck. The Wickersham brothers came shouting, what rot, this elephant's talking to who's who are not. They and they, who's, and and they, they don't, don't have a mayor. We'll really stop all the nonsense. So there. They snatched for its but they carried it off to a black bottom eagle named Black Black their dog, a mighty strong eagle, a very swift wing, and they said, will you kindly get rid of this thing? And before the elephant could even speak, the eagle flew, he flew off a flower on his feet all that late afternoon and fair into the night, that black bottom blurred flat his wings of light. Right, horn, let's chase after with groans over stones that tattered his toenails and battered his bones and begged, please don't harm my little folks who have so much right to live as our bigger folks do. But far, far beyond, that eagle kept flapping and over his shoulder called back, quick yell. I'll fly the night through, I'm a bird, I don't mind, and I'll hide this tomorrow, will you never find it? 6.56 the next morning he did it, it was sure a terrible place that he hid it. He let that small clover drop somewhere inside of a great patch of clover, a hundred miles by Find that in the bird, but I think it will fail. And he left with a flip on his black on his tail. I'll find it, cried Horton, I'll find it, or bust. I shall find my friends on a small speck of dust, and clover by clover with great care. He picked up a circle and called, are you there? Clover by clover, he found that one thing he saw was just not a run. And by a new world, Horton were dead than the light, and picked up a search to pile up 9,005. Goodness. And then on through the afternoon, hour after hour, until he found him at last on a three million flower. My friends spread the elephant and tell me your town. Are you safe? Are you sound? Are you whole? Are you well? Down on the deck came the voice of the mayor. We really had trouble, much more than our share. When the black bottom birdie let go and we dropped, we landed so hard that our clocks all stopped. Our teapots are broken, our rocking chair smashed, and our bicycle tires all blew up when we crashed. So Horton please pleaded the voice of the mayor. Will you stick by me? Won't make it repair? Of course, Horton answered. Of course I'll stay. I'll stick by his clothes. He did. And, and through thick. thick.
<laughs> the voice of all these two days in the wild and it's just an enchanted with persons who never existed. It is all an unpeaceable jungle and quite enough of your bellow and boggle and I'm here to stay it's not the big game. The silly nonsensical game to go through. And the young kangaroo in the pot said, me too. Which sham brothers and dozens of which sham uncles and which sham cousins, which sham in laws have on the gaze. You're gonna be ripped and you're gonna be caged. And as for your dust bag, ha! Then we shall blow out the hot steamy kettle of beans and let oil boil it. Guess what? No, that you can't do. It's full of persons, they'll prove it to you. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, call Horton, Mr. Mayor. You gotta prove now that you really are there. So call big meeting, get everyone out. Make every who holler, make every who shout. Make every who scream. If you don't, every who is going to end up in the beans and let's do. Down on the dust bank, the scared little man called a big meeting in the Hoover Town Square. His people cried loudly, they cried out in their fear. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. The elephant smiled at the street as a bell. The kangaroo showed him that that very bell. All I heard was that the beat. Was the breeze and the faint sound wind through the far distant trees? I heard the small voices, and you didn't either. And the young kangaroo in her pouch said, Me neither. Grab it, they shot it, they cased the big dope. Last of his stomach with ten miles of rope. Pot and that tight, so never shake loose. Dumb that duck that does make music juice. Hort fall back with great vigor of him. And the butcher shame gang was too many for him. They beat him, they balled him, they started to haul him into his cave. But he managed to call to the mayor, don't give up, I believe in you all. A person's a person, no matter how small. And your very small persons will not have to die. And you make yourself so to come on and try. The mayor grabbed the tom tom, he started to smack it. And all over the pool building whipped up a racket. They rattled up tin kettles, they beat on brass pants, on garbage pail bags, and old cranberry cans. They blew on bazookas and blasted great toots on clarinets, oops, and boots, and the boots. Great gusts of loud racket rang. Yeah, they rattled and shook the whole sky, and the mayor called up to the howling mad holler balloon. Hey, Horton, how's this? Is our sound coming through? Horton called back. I can hear you just fine, but the kangaroo's ears are not strong as mine. They don't hear a thing. Are you sure all your boys are doing their best? Are making all the noise? Are you sure every who and who bell is working? Quick, loop through your town. Is there anyone sure? Town rushed the mayor from the east to the west, but everyone seemed to be doing his best. Everyone seemed to be yapping and yipping. Everyone seemed to be beeping or bipping, but it wasn't enough. All the struggles and war, he had to find someone to make him make more. He raced through his building, he searched for the floor. And just as he left, he was getting nowhere and almost about, about to give up in despair. despair. He suddenly burst through the door, and that man he discovered one shirt right hidden away. In the very fast apartment's apartment, the 12J, in the very small, very small shirt of Angel Joe, was standing just standing and bouncing at yo yo, making the sun, now they get another shirt. And the man was inside and grabbed the young twerk. They climbed with the lad up the Eiffelberg Tower. The mayor is your town's darkest hour. Time for all who's who have blood that is red to come to the aid of the country, he said. We got to make noises in greater amounts. Open your mouth, lad, for every voice counts. The spoke as the climb got to the top. The light was so and shouted, Yap! And then yap, the one small yap, put a no final lead at last from the speckled little clover. The voices were heard, they rang out clear and clean. The elephant's fine, do you see what I mean? They prove they are persons no matter how small. And the whole world was saved by the smallest of all. I'm true, yes, I'm true, says the big king. Now on, you know what I'm planning to do. From now on, and I'll be taken with you. And the young kangaroo in her pouch said, Me too. And from sun into summer, from rain when it's smallish, I'm gonna protect him, no matter how smallish. Or here's the who. The tutor. We did. We could be. Do not explode your fake and don't even say you forgot to do a Nike and spew up in your chicken nugget. Think on your fate. <laughs> <laughs> you stop getting you answers of the fat.